This is my wife, Shondi. I'm James, and we own the Warehouse Restaurant, 25 West Cimarron, just down the road here. And we have since 2015, so we're just about three and a half years into that ownership. Um, the relationship with the warehouse, though, started in 1997. I was actually the fifth chef in about 14 months um, when the restaurant first opened, and I ended up staying for almost 10 years. Um, and uh, had a really good run and built with the owner of the restaurant and the owner of the building, I think kind of a landmark restaurant in Colorado Springs that's been around now and hosted a lot of great events, um, weddings, adoption celebrations, all kinds of really neat things. And um, it was, uh, it, it's just a really cool place. But after 10 years, the bricks kind of started to get old and it was for us to move on and go do something. And we started looking for opportunities. I ended up going to work at Vermejo Park Ranch, which is owned by Ted Turner, and it was a really neat opportunity. We lived out in the middle of nowhere with about 50 other people and um, raised our kids on 600,000 acres of really, really beautiful, pristine land in northeastern New Mexico. Um, and that was a really great time. We had um, all kinds of great experiences. And about eight years into that, things started to change, though. Living with 40 people is like living in a fishbowl. Everybody knows where you are, when you're there, why you're there. Maybe they want to know why you're there, all of those kind of things. And there was a management change and a shift in culture, and it was time for us to go again. And we started looking, actually, in Dallas-Fort Worth for restaurants, not Colorado Springs, which surprises a lot of people because this is home. Um, but a lot of the guests load or a lot of the guests from Vermejo were from Dallas and they loved us and they loved our food and we'd made a lot of really great friends. And to stay at Vermejo is not something that the average person does. It's open to the public, but it costs about $1,000 a day to stay there and fish. So anybody can go, but not just anybody can go. So we made some really great friends in a different socioeconomic class than we live in as restaurateurs and before restaurateurs, chefs and waitress and office manager. I mean, we had a little different thing. So those folks were um, pretty exciting to me and I thought maybe a great source of investment. We got really close on a couple of properties but never could pull the trigger in Dallas, Fort Worth. And um, then the phone call came and there's a guy that works back here behind this counter. His name's Brent Beaver. Some of you may know him. He's been a friend of mine for a long, long time. And he called me at Vermejo and he said, hey, the warehouse just closed. And it was, I don't know, eight o'clock at night on a Thursday. And I said, that, that, that's not good. That can't be. That's terrible. So I waited a couple of days. I talked to Shondi, and then I contacted Rafael Sassauer, who owns the building and was the, was the owner of the restaurant when I worked there. He'd sold it after I left. Um, and I called him, and I said, so what's going on with, with the restaurant? What happened? I don't know if any of you all know Rafi, but he uh, you know, answered with a couple of expletives and said, I'll be back in town in a couple of weeks if you want to stop by and look at it. I said, I would love to stop by and look at it. And um, so we came up on the 4th of July weekend with our kids and walked through the restaurant and decided about three weeks later that it was the right thing for us to do. And so we purchased the restaurant from Rafi and have leased it since then. It's been a really interesting road. You know, I remembered it when I left the way that it was and how it was running and what was going on. And unfortunately, uh, over the time that we left, a few things happened that kind of tarnished the reputation a little bit, made things a little hard, and we had to dig through that, and I wasn't really expecting that, but um, we got through it. That first year, we spent a lot of time questioning our decision. What did we do? Why did we do this? Um, you know, I worked 15 hours a day as a chef. Now I'm working 18 hours a day as an owner. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. And um, also just, you know, we, we left what was a really great job. You know, we had, we, we made a lot of money. We didn't pay rent. We lived in company housing. We had no rent, no mortgage, no utility payments. Our health care was completely paid for by, the, by Turner Enterprises. It was great. And we're sitting here looking at our little restaurant wondering what the, you know, what did we do? Um, and our kids were miserable. You know, we uprooted them from 10 years. Um, we, we moved our daughter at 16. And Vermejo had gone through two chefs in about 18 months. And I was like, we could go back. You know, it'd be real easy. Um, I know they'd take us back. We did a lot of great things while we were there. Um, but we made it through 2016, and we didn't do that. We, we decided to stay and kind of tough it out. And in 2017, we grew 26% in gross sales. And all of a sudden, there was a little bit of money, and we were able to buy out an investor and have health insurance again and some of those things. And 
that was exciting and it got us to, you know, smile again while we were going to work. And um, so that, you know, that was good. And then 2018 rolled around and again, we grew 21% last year, which is um, really fantastic and puts us in a position to buy out all of the rest of our investors, all of our leases, all of our loans. So everything is done and we actually 100% own the restaurant as of January 2nd. So that was, that was a, a big deal and, and kind of you know, validated to us that, that we made the right decision, we toughed it out. It was tough, but we got there. Um, and so now we're at this really interesting point where we've achieved all of these goals that we've had for 20 years of owning a restaurant, running a restaurant, being there, and it left us going, what's next? So we have one more big goal that we're working on and it may or may not happen over this next 18 months, but we would like to own that building that the restaurant lives in. Um, it's a great location with all of the growth downtown. However, um, there's a lot of stuff going on, obviously property values. There's a couple of guys in here that know a little bit about this with our, our new neighbors um, have gone way, way up. Um, so we're, we're working on that. We'll see what happens. We just want to keep the warehouse cool and we don't want it to be knocked down and we don't want it to come in. We want it to be local. And it's in a spot right now where that could be threatened if you know the right people don't don't get a hold of it. So anyway, that's where we're at. Thank you guys for listening. Yeah.